Hi everyone, Adam here. Today I'm going to talk about five different cloud native standards Open Telemetry, Open Feature, Cloud Events, CD Events, and the Open Cyber Security Framework. First, though, let's just quickly cover off why standards are important. So in the physical world, imagine if there were no standards. Imagine if you got in your car and it just wasn't compatible with any other car. It, the, the steering wheel was different. The pedals were different. Everything in your house was different. The, the world and interoperability between different things would be a complete nightmare. It, it just wouldn't work. And yet somehow we've got to a place in the cloud where a lot of that is prevalent. Everyone does their own thing in their own way. And there's a lot of translation between different tools and different events and different types of things. So first off, open telemetry. Open telemetry is a project that was born out of two previous projects, open tracing and open census. Open telemetry defines what telemetry is, what it looks like, and also how that telemetry data gets from the source, say a container or a VM, to your backend system that stores that data like an observability platform. So in their own words, OpenTelemetry provides a set of standardized vendor agnostic SDKs, APIs, and tools for ingesting, transforming, and sending data to an observability backend. That is important because OpenTelemetry itself is not a product. Vendors and other open source projects can come and build things that are open telemetry compliant. So what telemetry data are we talking about? The open telemetry project defines four observability signals, traces, metrics, logs, and baggage. I would actually argue for a fifth, which are events, but you'll see why later in the video. Next up, open feature. So for me, Open feature is the open telemetry of feature flagging. Right now, everyone who develops a feature flagging framework in-house or every vendor, they all do things slightly differently. There is no standard or there wasn't before open feature. Open feature aims to standardize feature flagging. If you're just starting your journey with feature flagging, you can start with an in-house version build something yourself, and if and when you outgrow that solution and you're looking for an open source project or a, a vendor, as long as it, it, they're both open feature compliant, it is as simple as changing the provider. Open feature describes itself as an open standard for feature flag management. Open feature provides a unified API and SDK and a developer first cloud native implementation with extensibility for open source and commercial offerings. So as you'd expect when you're using open feature to evaluate feature flags and use your feature flag backend, all of that data is being emitted as open telemetry data. So you're getting all of that observability for free. Next, cloud events. Remember when I said I'd add a fifth observability signal for events? Cloud events aim to standardize eventing. And when you think about it, a lot of things in the world and in software can be described as an event. A file is created, a file is deleted, a file is encrypted, a pull request is opened. These are all point in time events that occur that yes, you could log, I suppose, but they are conceptually nicely handled as events. So cloud events is a specification that says, this is what an event looks like, and here is how you define it as standard. Because right now, every vendor, every tool, everything defines events in a slightly different way. And again, you have this translation between different events that may be the same thing, but coming from different tools. And so we keep reinventing the wheel, coding up plumbing to say, well, this file created event from this tool and this file created event from this tool are actually the same thing. Cloud events aims to get rid of that confusion by standardizing things. Cloud events describes itself as a specification for describing event data in a common way. So in other words, cloud events bring an open standard to event data. 
Next up, CD events. So if cloud events aim to bring standardization across all events, regardless of the domain, CD events say, okay, we, we agree, but we are gonna focus particularly on CD, continuous delivery. For example, a pipeline. So think about GitLab or GitHub Actions or Jenkins or Tekton or Argo. They all have a concept of a pipeline, but they all, the terminology is slightly different as you'd expect. CD events says, okay, that's fine, but when you're emitting the events, deal with them in a standardized way. For example, a pipeline run describes a single run of a pipeline and a task run describes a task running in that pipeline once. Source code version control events are things like a repository, a branch, or a change. For example, a repository can be created, modified, or deleted. A branch can also be created or deleted, and so on and so forth. In the continuous integration events, you have things like build and test case. Builds can be queued, builds can be finished. Test cases can be queued, started, and finished, and so on. What this means again is that regardless of vendor, if you're pushing all of that event data into a backend, you can query and say, show me all of the pipeline runs. Then after that, because it's all standardized, split by the source, split by the vendor. To summarize, CD events are cloud events, but for a specific domain, continuous delivery. And finally, the Open Cyber Security Framework or OCSF. OCSF is an open source effort to create a common schema for security events across the cybersecurity ecosystem. And I actually want to read you something from their frequently asked questions, which is what problems does OCF solve for? And basically they're saying that one of the primary challenges of cybersecurity analytics is that there is no common and agreed upon format and data model for logs and alerts. They say, as a result, pretty much everyone in the space creates and uses their own format and data model, i.e. sets of fields. They acknowledge that there are many such models that exist, including some open ones like Styx and OSEM and Sigma Taxonomy. But none of them have been sufficiently adopted to become the de facto standard. There is a lot of translation involved that I was talking about with the other projects. Now, the problem there is if you're pushing all of this event data and logs into backend systems, you're doing so presumably to get value out of that data, to detect when you're under cyber attack, for example. And if you have to tie together or plug together these events, you're potentially missing things. They go on to describe the fact that AI and machine learning algorithms have to be trained on standardized data. It's easier to derive information from data that is easier to understand in the first place. So until now, there hasn't really been a critical mass, they say, of major players willing to tackle the problem head on. And with efforts like this, timing is everything. They say, with OCSF, we are now at a moment where we have that critical mass as well as a real willingness to tackle these challenges. So they say there is a critical mass of, of people involved. Well, well, who are the, these major players they talk about? Looking at the GitHub repo, AWS, Sumo Logic, Rapid7, Splunk, Tanium, Trend Micro, IBM, the list goes on and on and on. So I think this is, as an industry, this is our best shot yet to really, really get a handle on the security space and start standardizing on these event processes. So what kind of events are available in the OCSF schema? We have file system activity, kernel extension activity, events around modules, memory, security findings, account changes, authentication, and on and on. In the network section, we have generalized network activity as well as specific event types for HTTP, DNS, DHCP, RDP, SMB, SSH, FTP, and email. The whole gamut of, of security type information is covered here. So if we look at one of them as an example, let's look at the account change. An account change can have various things happening with it. Either it's unknown, something is happening, but we're not quite sure. You can be creating an account, a user or role was created, enabling, changing a password, resetting a password, disabling, enabling, deleting, attaching a policy or detaching a policy, locking an account or 
other. That goes for all of these types of events. So there it is, five different standards, all addressing different needs in different industries. I hope this has been useful. If you're a developer, start using these frameworks, start using these standards. If you're on the business side, insist that the tooling you use and buy are compliant to these standards because these standards are the future of how we communicate in a cloud native world. As always, thank you very much for watching. All of the links to everything I've discussed will be below and I'll see you next time. Thanks, bye.